think as if he closed his eyes and hoped for the best. Now Nedved. He's got that one in well. Oh, that, got, uh, that went Salas. Should be a corner this. Yeah. I think Woodgate's got a vital touch did, yeah. to pick it, flick it clear. And I think Salas and Crespo are totally just in criticising the referee. Woodgate's backpedalling. He's struggling all the way, but just enough to get a little touch. Should have been a corner. Two Leeds players are booking away from suspension. Alan Smith and Eric Backer. It's another worrying moment here for Leeds. Comes Salas! Tremendous defending again, Woodgate. He came to his team's rescue there right at the last. And Salas came darting in far post. Are you so pleased for Jonathan Woodgate after Saturday? Because this is great defending. I thought Salas did extremely well just to get there. We're on to try yet again. It's Matthew this time. Just stretching there out of the and Salas are coming behind him. Crespo and Salas almost on the goal line along with Pacaro. Veron. And that's gone Leeds way. Paduka was never afraid to take a defender off. Now it's Backer. at the end of the first half Eric Backer is nudging it on to Baduka he has such strength in the firing line there here's Matteo again and it for Backer and then Baduka has turned really well how can he put it back from here goodness me Boya came in unattended at the far post and just couldn't find the right angle I thought it was in. That was brilliant skill from Mark Viduka and a wonderful little chip to the far post. Simeone now for Lazio. Oh, Nibbert's taking it on here. But scuff his shot. I think Paul Robinson's right to have a go at his defence there because Nedved, he's worried me all through the first half as well. He's got great movement. He's always on the lookout for something and wasn't the best finish in the end, but it was a good position he got himself into again. Up goes Fernando Coto with Viduka, Smith. Fernando Coto has stayed down. And now can receive some attention. Yes, the arm of Viduka did snake out then. Certainly clipped him. Nesta making that very point, I think. Well, they'd love Mark Viduka to get a second yellow, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Harry Kuehl, will we see him soon for Leeds? Nedved now, making good progress. Again, they've kept the door shut, Leeds. Good, tight defending. That was good defending, but again, you can't help but admire Nedved. I mean, he just won't stick on his wing. His movement's terrific all over the place, and a good ball in. That was Veron to Nedved. No, the angle was too tight. What a super little ball through then from Veron. He'd seen the run of Nedved who is so bright and so quick to spot the possibilities that was a lovely little delightful ball in by Veron but I think Radaby's just done enough to put pressure on Nedved knows he's there and he's not really going to beat Robinson from that acute an angle this was the earlier one that Woodgate I mean Woodgate's been superb tonight Matteo played in by Backer to Dacor what a sight of goal unlucky well, he hit a post at the weekend, Daco. He scored his first league goal against Arsenal recently. And this was a decent opportunity. I thought he did so well to actually craft the space for himself because Simeone looked to close him down quickly, but Daco, quick feet, got it away. That's a good effort. It really has been an outstanding signing from Lons. Of course, he had that spell with Everton in the Premier League before that. Well, 
offside. Baduka and or Smith have been caught out here. Canleys continue to keep their shape. And well, hopefully find some penetration at the other end on the break here, as they're doing now with Alan Smith. We've got Boya streaming forward here. Smith has gone down. Oh, Peruzzi was caught in two minds there. He certainly had some moments of indecision, the goalkeeper. Crespo. And that's a foul by Radaby in the eyes of the French referee. Marcelo Salas trying to shake off Radaby. Nedved, that's a lovely turn. Pavel Nedved! Oh, that was fantastic play by the man from the Czech Republic. Well, he's most likely. You've got to say that about them because he's the one that's making all the little runs, getting free from people. I mean, from our position, it looked a lot closer at first. Dacour. Oh, such quick feet. Well, that was super work then from Dacour. And from Viduka too. Now Alan Smith. It'll fall for Boya. Knocked over the top. Oh, it was so nearly in. As Viduka arrived on the scene. It just flipped over the bar. I really fancied him from that position to score. I don't think he got as solid a contact as he would have liked. In fact, it didn't come off Viduka in the end. It came off Lombardo, who was back helping out. And I think that's why Peruzzi was able to make the save. Oh, yeah. Swinging it over. I think if Viduka gets stronger contact, if he, if he got there before Lombardo and got good solid contact, I don't think Peruzzi would have been able to do much about it. In the end, it was a good save from him. Yeah, he was certainly deterred then by Lombardo's presence and he did demand the save from Peruzzi but now it's Boya going in another chance it just won't go in for Leeds Woodgate this time but it's Lazio hanging on now well it was a good challenge right at the death Nesta is it typically now Kelly that was well read by Favalli Simeone, Leone Ball and Crespo is after it, he might be in here, Hernan Crespo, good save by Robinson, he did terrifically well then the young goalkeeper, Tiao stood up, waited and well timed his save to perfection. Well he got in such a good position Crespo, and he just needs to lift it higher, if he lifts it higher he's probably got his goal. Viduka with Smith, now Kuhl. Paducah, oh played in brilliantly for Smith! And Leeds have scored! It's a goal they have been threatening all night and at last they have done it. It was superbly created and coolly tucked away by Smith. What a night this is turning into for David O'Leary's young side. Perutzi dumbfounded, nothing he could do then. Oh, it's amazing. They could so easily have gone one behind. But when it comes through, look at this from Viduka. Ah, oh, it's a magnificent little flick. And what a cool finish it was, Smith. Once he got in the position, he made the little peel off his man. He's free, onside, keep your head. And he does that superbly well. And it's nothing more than Leeds deserve. Leeds have been the better side on the night for me. They've had chances before now. That's the best they've had of the night. And it was tucked away beautifully. Dacour, then to Backer. It's keep ball from Leeds. Harry Kuhl. Here's the Australian again. Couldn't find his compatriot Baduka. But it's a fantastic result for Leeds United at the home of one of Europe's most formidable teams. Alan Smith's goal in the second half has won this match for them another proud proud night yet again they're so plucky of teams as Ericsson shakes hands there with David O'Leary 
have overturned the odds that seem so heavily stacked against them to the delight of a thousand or so fans who have travelled over from England well Ericsson never shows too much passion but he will be bitterly bitterly disappointed by the way his team have played in contrast well such elation for David O'Leary and Leeds travelling fans what a night they are very much back in the frame now in this second phase group of the Champions League winners over Lazio the Italian champions by a goal to nil